a real quick shout out to Slane who does my graphic stuff for my channels, the banners and stuff. Made me new banner, new profile picture, and a new Twitter banner. I really enjoy them. If you guys want to get some work done by him, links to his Twitter and his YouTube are in the description as always. Also, make sure you come check out the Roblox group. Pretty fire. Hey, what's going on guys? Got Teddy's here. So today we're going to be doing a video on the Allgate 3, which I didn't expect myself to do anytime soon, but I've been looking into some guns more in depth a bit lately, trying to see if there is any guns that are out there that a lot of people just don't talk about, but they do have a lot of potential. And I can't across this. The Auge 1 has been considered top tier for a long time just because of its accuracy and it's able to four shot to the body. However, the Auge 3 is basically an Auge 1 except shoots faster. So you actually lose, or excuse me, the minimum time to kill is actually one second faster, or not one second, but 0.1 millisecond faster on the Auge 3 and you really don't sacrifice much by using it. The accuracy is still really good, still the same ammo, basically the same reload times, and it's still, like I said, it's still slightly faster to kill. So why isn't it totally talked about that much. I believe that's not talked about that much because it is kind of kind of PF mentality that once a gun is popularized and it is something that is considered very good, people don't really like to stray away from things that much. People don't really like change and they don't like seeing new guns come up. So they kind of stick with what they know and don't really switch around too much and don't really search all that much. So kind of want to talk about it. Like I said, you don't lose much in terms of accuracy and you really don't lose anything in terms of damage. Now I'm using Coyote Compensator Vertical Grip and AP Ammo and AP Ammo is key to the the Auge 1 and the Auge 3 because it makes it four shot to the torso at all ranges. So if you don't have AP ammo on the gun, it's going to be a little bit weaker, but it really isn't by much. And you'll see the difference once you actually do get AP. So it gives you something to constantly work towards and something that you will instantly notice a benefit once you get. The Augs have always been considered really good guns. The Auge H bar is considered a really good LMG. Super accurate, shoots decently quick, four shot to the body all ranges. And that's kind of the same just for all the Augs is that they have an okay fire rate, a really good recoil control, and they four shot to the body all ranges with the right setup. And that's kind of their purpose in this game, it seems. They all do kind of the same thing, except the Auge 3 seems to do it slightly better. Now, you could use the Auge 1, because it does, in my opinion, have a little bit better recoil than the Auge 3, but like I said, you get that faster time to kill as it shoots 40 RPM faster, or 40 rounds per minute. So you are able to get those kills slightly faster, and it does the same damage. So, in all honesty, I would trade out that little bit of extra recoil for the slightly faster kill time, as I think most most people really would. Even with the Auge 3 having slightly more recoil, you really don't notice it until you're about halfway through your magazine, which is weird because the first little bit of your magazine seems to be really accurate. And then as you go through, it gets a lot more shaky, which I don't really understand the full reason or physics behind that exactly, but it does work out overall and it isn't something hard to get used to at all. So I really wouldn't worry about it. And I would still definitely try this gun out because there really isn't many downsides to it other than its reload. I feel like its reload is a bit longer than like your average AR but other than that really nothing to complain about definitely a really strong gun and I'm surprised it's not talked about as much however I think like I said before it kind of goes along with the not liking changes mentality of the PF community where we kind of just like to stick to what we know and we don't like when things get changed around but oh well I thought I might as well be the one to talk about it because the gun is really strong and like I said the Auge 1's been considered a tier 1 gun for a long time but this is never really talked about and even myself I didn't think this gun really had any potential to it but then again I never really looked at the stats of it. I also kind of went off the popularity factor and I thought that if it was as like anything worth using it would be talked about and there would be a reason to use it and we're out of ammo and this is kind of awkward. Yeah. <laughs> there's a sub sound so nonetheless oh let me grab some ammo there nonetheless definitely worth checking out i've been using this gun for like the past hour or so maybe and it definitely holds its own and like i said because of its accuracy that's why these guns excel so much and that's why they're used so often they are medium rank guns the auge one's like rank 20 this is rank 53 i believe so they are low to medium rank guns that are really good to use and anyone can really use them i wouldn't consider them necessarily overpowered but because they do have that decent fire rate and that super low recoil this is now more worth it to use than something like the g36 because the g36 as much as i love it it has a slightly faster fire rate but the time to kill is the exact same at the end of the day and you do have a decent bit more recoil now using the auge 3 is probably something that i'm gonna rather be using compared to the g36 because there is no benefits to using the g36 anymore g36 used to have the benefits of the faster fire rate than the auge 1 however it now has more recoil by quite a bit even though people still want to argue that the g36 is a laser 
laser gun, blah, blah, blah. The G36, no matter how much you argue it, is nowhere near as accurate as the AUG-A1, nowhere near as accurate as the AUG-A3. That's really just the truth of it. So why not switch and kind of adapt to this and see what you can do with these different guns? This guy jump out. Yeah, he did. Come here. Gotta find ammo. Did that guy's gun disappear? Okay, there we go. I was about to say. But yeah, there's really no reason to not adapt to this. Holy crap. Like I said, there's no downsides. We're going 45 and 6. We're just kind of running basic spawn traps side to side here because the warehouse spawn trap is very simple, but it's something that really surprised me. And I think me personally, I have to start branching out and looking at these things more because these are kind of guns that, like I said, I never really thought about using because I always sat there and my main thing was all my friends who are really good at the game and all my friends who do study these guns and blah, 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 and try to find out things that are really good with them, why they'd be worth using. Never really talked about the AUG-A3. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to trust like that they haven't talked about. It. It's probably nothing worth using. Even just at a quick glance, definitely worth using. I thought it wouldn't be worth it because I thought the recoil might be different for some reason, which I don't really know why I thought that because they all, all the AUGs kind of have similar recoils and they really don't share any, or they really don't have many differences amongst each other. Okay. I thought I saw that guy for a second. Got a few hit markers. No assist counts as kill though. But yeah, it's definitely something worth checking out. And I definitely might start using this a lot more because like I said, there's no benefits over using this or excuse me, no benefits as to use the G36 over this. So why even use it? Why not go with the gun that's going to get you a lot more kills because it's that much more accurate compared to the gun that I just like because I've used it for a long time. Definitely time to adapt. Wow, we just filled up the feed. I didn't even realize, but definitely time to adapt overall and kind of change my style up. As much as I hate to say, it might have to be a new, well, it's definitely gonna have to be a new gun time because I'm completely done with the G36. Like it's been way too long of me using that gun. Where's that guy even at? But another benefit about this is the fact that since you do have to use AP on this, well, you don't have to, but highly recommended to use AP. But since you do use AP on this, you get a lot more penetration depth, which means your wall bangs still do a lot more damage, which is a lot more worth it. And it's kind of one of those things that makes me like using AP on guns because I do shoot through walls quite a bit. That's because I, I'm not afraid to take those shots like and try to trace people through walls as they run behind them. So it definitely benefits my play style quite a bit. But I know there are some people who don't like going for wall bang shots because they're not really comfortable with it. And all of that's fine. But for me, definitely works out a lot. Mm, can I grab any ammo off this? No, I cannot. I just said ammo. What is he doing? Oh my, they're just sitting there. All right, 74 and seven there's still seven minutes left sadly the game's gonna get end early but this is another game that could have been like 150 kills Jeez, could have even gone higher but nonetheless i hope you guys can see just even i i have to remind this all the time even if people hopefully watch this point in the video but most won't just because i use a gun and it looks good doesn't mean that it is good which is why i kind of try to support what i'm saying with arguments and you know comparisons that you can use and try out on your own to make your own opinion because just because i do good with the gun doesn't mean everyone will do good with the gun that's something that people don't really realize a lot of the time and i I kind of need to keep reinforcing in my video so apologies if i don't say that enough or people don't realize that enough just because i do good with it doesn't mean everyone will do good with it which is why i try to give you guys like reasons or like comparisons you can do or comparisons to other guns that you guys might have used in the past so you can kind of set an example for yourself and figure out if it truly will work for you but like i said things like the augs are something that are like i said low tier or excuse me low level medium level guns and they aren't hard to control and most of the guns i try recommending are low recoil guns because once you get decent with low recoil guns then you should start expanding i don't think it's ever smart to go straight to a high recoil gun and try to learn that first because you will struggle with it unless you have a lot of like overall fps experience in a game or just fps game experience overall you will struggle with it at first so i try to recommend the low recoil guns as much as possible just to get you guys used to things and kind of get you into the swing of learning how the game works before you do anything else oh that guy's got the h bar h bar is still a really nuts lmg but nonetheless oh hit registration 85 and 9 not bad game's about to end with over five minutes left that's feels pretty bad man feels pretty bad that could have been like 130 kills 100 and 130 140 maybe not the best choice of maps and like kind of game combination but nonetheless one thing i do want to talk about because i know people are going to argue this is that the aug h bar is another really good lmg but it's lmg whereas i'm trying to kind of compare the augs as in the assault rifle augs rather than the LMGs. There's a guy right next to me. I don't think you heard me, but I heard him and I just whiffed my shots. Holy crap, I'm terrible. <laughs> oh, I really want to edit that out. We'll see. Um, nonetheless, the AUG H bar is really strong, but it is an LMG and not a lot of people like how slow you move with LMGs and things like that. And not a lot of people just like LMGs overall. So when I say this is the strongest AUG in the game, I just mean it from an overall stance. Now you could argue that the AUG H bar is stronger. However, they do basically the same damage and they do have the same accuracy more or less, but I believe that the H bar does have a longer reload time. So this kind of sticks out for me, even though you do get more bullets in the H bar, the shorter reload, same accuracy 
abilities, same damage, everything like that. In my eyes, this would be the best dog. Even this guy's using the Augay one right now. But yeah, since the Augs are so like popularized for their accuracy and stuff, this is what really makes them a top choice gun because they do four shot just like the G36 and things like that. However, they are a lot more accurate. Now, if you compare like even the L85, the G36, all those four shot ARs will all have around the similar fire rate of this gun, but won't have the accuracy of this gun. And like I said, even though the G36 technically does have a higher fire rate, it doesn't change the minimum time to kill at all. So it is still 0.0 or it's 0.17 milliseconds or something. So 0.17 seconds, whatever you want to say, it's 17 milliseconds. But nonetheless, it is really, really powerful. And that's why I'm trying to make a video and kind of push this gun out there to you guys. And I know a lot of people always talk about how Stylus needs to make like new low rank guns, things like that. But I feel like a lot of people haven't even tried out half the low rank guns. I feel like most people haven't even thought to use the all gate three because it really isn't popular by any means. I don't see this gun ever being talked about and I don't see it really ever used in things like competitive or anything like that. It's just, I did not hear that as an SFG shot. It sounded like a silence, like pistol just shot me. All right. Oh, I'm going to die here. He's mailing. Oh my. Okay. Just run. But yeah. I don't ever hear it talked about. I don't ever see it being mentioned as like one of the top guns. I don't ever see this being used in competitive play. Nothing. So really surprises me with how strong this gun actually is. I might, like I said, kind of pick this gun up for competitive a little bit just because it is stronger than the all one. So it does hold its own overall though. You may think like, oh, 0 0.01 milliseconds, like isn't much for time to kill does make a difference and you will notice it even now like just having the general knowledge that this gun is shooting faster than the aug one definitely feels like the time to kill is much faster than just that little bit of a difference it may just be kind of like i don't know it's kind of like mind gaming myself in a sense but i definitely think that you can tell the difference with this and you definitely do see it being worth it i'm definitely happy with this gun and i'm definitely happy with how it performs and i don't think that oh my hit registration Thank you. Uh, we're all out of ammo. That's not too good. That is not good at all. And we can't find any ammo. Nonetheless, 30 of 5 real quick. I am going to end the video here because I don't want like a 20 minute video on this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.